what's up y'all so real quick i just came here to share a quick story a quick quick revelation that i had yesterday um and some quick encouragement to just know that god got you okay god got you god is always there god is god he's going to keep on god he's going to keep on god and okay no matter what it may look like god will remain god at all times so pretty much two days ago right i was watching and i'm trying not to make this long because i tend to over explain but yeah two days ago me and my kids was watching bruce almighty now i don't have time to explain the movie but if you haven't seen it go see it and it teaches a lesson about god um has Jim Carrey and uh what is her name? Jennifer Aniston starring in the Jennifer Aniston, is that her name? I think, yeah, the lady from Friends. Huh, starting in the movie. And it teaches lessons about God or whatever, okay? So it was that was on January 7th when I was watching that movie, and it was significant to me when in the movie they was um Morgan Freeman, who played God, oh, also Morgan Freeman, who played the God, was um saying that he will be back on on the seventh at seven to basically switch his life back with um Jim Carrey's character or whatever. So, yeah, that was significant to me that I was watching that movie on the seventh, and it said on the seventh at seven. So the next day, I decided that we was gonna watch Evan Almighty, right? So, in that movie, it's pretty much, it's kind of the same. It's just different stories. Um, I also teach the lessons about God. I homeschool, so everything in our home becomes a lesson when it can. So, um, yeah, it also teaches about God. And what was significant in that movie was Evan kept waking up at, 6 14 a.m and he'd be like i know for a fact i set my alarm for like seven o'clock why am i study waking up at 6 14 every day and then the it would say gen 6 14 so then one day he decided to just look up genesis 6 14 in the bible and it was speaking to him and it said to um build your ark i can't re really remember verbatim what it said i did look it up it was saying to build your ark and on both sides, in and out, to cover it with pitch. And that was in a part of a movie where he kept getting deliveries of wood unexpectedly. And he's like, where's this coming from? Y'all got the wrong house, whatever. And he, you know, then he put two and two together. That's when he start, started putting two and two together after he looked up the Bible verse. So, later yesterday, I had gotten like this funk about stuff that's going on in my life um that I wish would be better basically right and I couldn't find the charger to my phone and I was actually on my way to go start door dashing so I'm like all right I'm gonna just while I'm waiting for an order I'm gonna just sit outside in the car and charge my phone in the car because I have a car charger so then I'm like usually when I'm get when I'm having a moment I would just go listen to gospel music, but I decided to just sit in the car in silence and just talk to God. So that's what I did. And the movie popped up in my mind, like, oh, Genesis 6 and 14. So I'm like, okay, let me read it for myself, right? Because I didn't know if in the, in the movie, they only read like one line just to, you know, I didn't know if they change what it said just so it could fit the movie you know i didn't know i wanted to see exactly what it said in my bible so i went on the bible app on my phone i looked up genesis 6 to 14 and it was saying to build an ark on both sides uh cover it with pitch so i'm like okay i'm sitting here what an and um and a topic that you know i was stressing about was pretty much like career wise right so when it said building arc 
to an aspiring business owner or an aspiring entrepreneur that speaks to you. Because when it says build an arc, that can be referencing to the foundation to your business, right? And then when it says to cover both sides with black, I mean cover both sides with pitch, to me that spoke to the foundation of the arc. You know, like the like the pitch on both sides is gonna help have a better foundation, is gonna better protect the arc. You know what I'm saying? So I started thinking like, okay, Genesis 6 to 14, build my arc. My arc is my business. Like, I'm asking questions. I'm sitting here talking to myself in the car like, God, I wish it was, you know, they made it look so easy in the movie about, you know, getting signs from God and how you speak to people and you just showed up and talked to them. Like, I wish it was that easy, right? So then after I connected the Bible verse with my business, I'm like, okay. Okay, God. All right. I'm I'm a, I'm gonna continue to work on my business, right? And I'm gonna continue to DoorDash while I work on my business. And then right after I, you know, read that passage and I and it something kind of clicked in my mind, like, okay, this is this is what you want me to do, right? I had got a DoorDash order on my phone. Now, usually I would have declined that order, but the fact that this was the first order that I got right after right after um talking to God um my intuition was just like take the order right now I would not have taken it because it was like two miles for two dollars and fifty cents and those are that's not an order that I take I really want to take orders that say like six dollars and fifty cents for two miles like every order I try to I would like for it to be at least six dollars and I don't take nothing that's less than two dollars a mile because i don't want to be out there just wasting my time and wasting my gas but like i said my intuition told me to uh accept the order so i did i accepted the order because i'm like i'm gonna just i'm gonna just drive and clear my hair real quick so i go pick up the order then i get to the uh i'm pulling up to the address i'm trying to check the exact address for some reason i didn't look at the exact address until i was pulling up so to try to find the house y'all that address was 614 wellington street when i started i said mm, y'all when i tell y'all my mouth dropped my mouth dropped like dropped i was just sitting up here asking god for an answer for some clarity like in that moment right right after i just read genesis 6 and 14 right after it was just on evan almighty right after i just watched bruce almighty on the seventh so all of that was just like mind-blowing to me and i'm like i really just pulled up to uh an address that says 614 y'all why it was the only house on the block that was lit up like all the how the house it was late it was kind of late and y'all know it get dark fast now so all the other houses were like really dark they didn't have no lights on this house looked brand new like it was so pretty they had big lights in the front and it said to hand them the order so i had to ring the doorbell and i waited for them to come to the door and she gave me a tip so that's another thing like when you take I took the small order, like, okay, they might give me a tip since it's, you know, it's, it was only $2. But I wasn't really depending on it. That's just always a thought if I do take a small order. So, yeah, she ended up giving me a tip or whatever. And I was still just shook it. Like, I had to take a picture of the house. I had to record myself walking up to the house. Like, this really said I'm really going to 614 right now. This really confirms that I need to stand on my business. I need to stand on building my own arc. And I need to stand on building my foundation and, um, you know, making my foundation sturdy on the inside and out. Like, 614, I need to build my arc. That is what it was telling me. So then, y'all, I'm just still mind blown, right? After that, I got another order. That was also a kind of small order, but I still took it. 
I seen that it was like around the same area that I had just went to. So then I'm dropping that order off, y'all. Why? I passed the house that I just, the, the 614 Wellington. I passed right by that house. The house that I went to was literally directly the house right behind the 614, right? The 614 Wellington Street that I just dropped off to. It was literally right behind it. So, and that address was 613. So, y'all, then I get a message from this next customer. And she's like, I don't know if you saw my message, but my house had, I'm the house with the lights on. I got you. Literally, that's what the text message said from the customer. I don't know if you saw my message, but I'm the house with the lights on. And I got you. If that wasn't a second confirmation from God, baby, I don't know what it was. Because this house was right behind the house that I just dropped off of. 614. This house literally says 613. And you sending me a message saying, I don't know if you saw my message. But I got you, though. So that was God confirming that he got me. That was God confirming that I need to just build my own ark. I need to build my ark. Focus on my ark. And that movie, he, he kept telling Evan... He, once he finally got all the signs, he's like, okay. go." No, he was passing out in the movie. That man started fainting because he started getting all these signs. He started seeing Genesis 6 and 14 everywhere. The man fainted at work at a meeting or something. And they caught the doctor. Got, the doctor was Morgan Freeman who was playing God. And he just he was acting like he was checking his temperature or something. He was like, oh, just go home and get some rest so you can start working on that arc. So that's what I'm going to do, baby. I'm going to get some rest and I'm going to start working on my art. I'm going to continue to work on my art. I'm going to continue to work on my foundation. It might be hard. It might be times where you just want to give up. But God got you. God is with you. Build your art, baby. If you want to be a, a, a an um, entrepreneur, you got a business that you're thinking about, build that art. Like, I don't know if you know what else to say. I hope some of y'all got this in the way that I was trying to explain it. I know I said I was trying not to have this be a long video, but like I have to explain everything. And sometimes I'll just be talking a lot, but I'm going to try to cut some stuff out if I can. But I don't know because I wanted this to fit on TikTok, but now it's 12 minutes. So, but yeah, y'all, that, that's my story. I hope it touched somebody. I hope y'all get it in the way that I got it. Because I hope it wasn't confusing to y'all. But yes, that's my revelation. Genesis 16, 14. Oh, baby, I'm going to have to put that on my wall to remind myself on a daily that I need to build my ark. If you know that you don't have a worker spirit, you know that you have an entrepreneur spirit, like, you you need to be building your own foundations and working for yourself, then do that. Whatever you need to do until then, you can continue to do that. But don't be discouraged in your journey, okay? Because everything that's in your journey is to help your journey. That's the perspective that you have to keep. Everything that is in your journey is to help your journey, okay? Peace and love, y'all.